The D2 Solstice event ends today, and unfortunately the event ended up being kind of a miss for me. I'm hoping newer players may have gotten some decent armor, but my vault was sorta already overflowing with dank rolls, so lost interest. However, one great thing that did come out of the Solstice event was that everybody and their mother learned about this farm. And while the majority of people used it as a silver leaf farm, I've learned there's a much better use for it that we'll still be able to take advantage of even with the Solstice event gone, a crafted weapon XP farm. The Neptune Mission Farm, which if you don't know about it, sit tight, I will show you, is a dummy easy way to get lots of weapon XP for multiple crafted guns all at the same time. I was getting around 13-ish percent crafted weapon progress per gun per run, and each run takes just a little bit over one minute if you use some shortcuts, which I'm going to show you. All right, grab at least one other person, sorry solo players, open up Neomuna and load up the first contact mission on normal difficulty. There's a really good chance that if you haven't done this farm before, the game will, for whatever reason, load you in at the point where you've already crash landed on Neptune. If that does happen, and it probably will the first time, no biggie. You just have to finish the mission one time. Annoying for sure, but it's very short. When you finish the mission, go back to orbit and load up the mission again. Now you should start at the very beginning when you're still on the Cabal ship. Go through the mission until you're at this exact location, right before you've opened up the doors, which eventually leads to the drop pod escape off the ship. At that point, I give fire team leader to my friend who takes us both back to orbit and bam, that is it. He has the checkpoint now and the farming can begin. I'll show you the normal version of the farm and then I'll show you my try hard speed run method, which if you really care, can shave off extra seconds to make things go even faster. Okay, regular version of the farm. Whoever has the checkpoint loads the mission and you spawn in together. Checkpoint holder should now change to a different character and then rejoin their teammate who should stay and wait in the mission. When your checkpoint holder has changed characters and reloaded in, go into the drop pod room and each of you get into a drop pod. When you hit a black screen and you're loading up the Neomuna portion of the mission, that is it, you're done. Change characters to get back to orbit faster, group up again on whoever's character originally held the checkpoint, load that checkpoint again, rinse and repeat. And of course, should go without saying that you should have a crafted weapon in each weapon slot to get that spicy 13% weapon craft progress on each one every time you complete a run. All right, now the try hard version of that farm. Whoever has the checkpoint, load up the mission like you normally would. Okay, now the moment that your spaceship's in orbit, do that little backflip and fly back away towards the planet or whatever, that is the moment where your checkpoint holder should change character. Because you waited just long enough for the ships to turn around and fly away though, that one person in the fire team should still load into the checkpoint like normal, even though the checkpoint holder is now changing characters. Okay, whoever loaded into the mission now run over to the drop pod area and get into a pod. The second you see the drop pod get kinda locked in as the environment closes in around the window of your drop pod, that is the exact moment that your friend should rejoin your fire fire team on their farm character. The checkpoint will end as they're still flying in, but if you time it right, your teammate should still get weapon XP at the last second. Then you both change characters, meet up in orbit, and do it all over again. Using that method, you're really shaving off only a couple seconds, but I mean, hey, if you're trying to be really crazy optimal about your weapon XP farming, go wild. Season 22 is right around the corner, and I'm sure we'll be getting more crafted weapons, so be sure to keep this farm in mind. If anyone out there wants an updated video going over which crafted weapons I currently think are the best, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on stream.